my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I am super excited to share this with you, the Lost Souls Blanket. Yes! Now, I did speak with the designer of the Lost Souls shawl, and I said to Marietta, would it be all right if I used, you know, the foundation, the basis of your pattern to make up a blanket? And she said, yes, so here we are. Now, this is going to be but one part of a small series because there are variations, which I'm sure you're going to be happy about that because I figured out how to make this blanket as one really big square or smaller squares, which you can then do the join as you go method so you can make a rectangular shaped blanket. Yay! <laughs> so I'm very, very excited about this. Now, uh, for this square that I did here. This was using Pound of Love in Antique White. For today's tutorial, thanks to Lion Brand, I got some Elephant Gray, if it'll focus. Um, I am very excited to use this because I thought this would be a perfect color for the skulls. Mm -hmm. And so, in case you don't already know, uh, this is... 16 ounces. It is 1,020 yards, give or take, and it is 100% acrylic, so it is machine washable and dryable. Yay! Very, very cool. And so I'm going to be using this. Of course, you can use ultimately whatever yarn that you want, whatever hook size you want, but, you know, I just always let you go, you know, I let you know what it is that I use um, in case if you want to duplicate the results. And as far as the hook size, I went a little bit bigger because I wanted this to be very lacy and loose. So I used a size K, 6.5 millimeter hook, even though this is a rather thin weight of four. It's more of a weight of three, like a bulky three, if you will. So without further ado, I think we'll get started. Now, like I said, this is going to be a series. So for the beginning of this series, I'm going to show how to do the basis of the four skulls and how to make it into a square, you know, bordering on the, the granny, so that you can do the join as you go method. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to make more skulls, you know, and radiate outwards so that you can make just, you know, you can make it as a, a large square, a one piece, if that is what you prefer. So I'm going to give you guys some options, which, hey, who doesn't like options, right? So without further ado, let's get started. Round one. All right. So fortunately, this is going to start out pretty easy because the first, what, two rounds? Yeah, the first two rounds are a typical granny square. So, you know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I love the granny. You know, it's one of my favorite stitches to work with. So I'm going to chain up four and then slip stitch into the first chain to create a ring. And then chain up three. One, two, three. And that's going to act as our first double crochet. And then into the center ring, two more double crochets for our first cluster. Like so. Chain three. And then three more doubles into the center ring. And we're going to continue this for a total of four clusters separated by chain three spaces, just like, you know, just like a typical granny square, you know, would begin. So I've got one and two and three. Chain three, three more doubles. So I know that for some of you, this is really early for a, you know, a Halloween oriented video, but, you know, I wanted to give you guys as much time as I possibly could 
so that if you wanted to make it in time for Halloween, that you'd be able to. All right, so we've got three clusters, chain three again, one, two, three, and then three more doubles into that center ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then last but not least, chain three and slip stitch to the top third chain of your first double crochet. Like so. All right, and that is the end of the first round. However, we're going to slip stitch into the next two doubles. and then into the chain three space, and then round one is officially done. All righty. Round two. All right, again, this is going to be, you know, pretty much, you know, the, the granny square, you know, so going to chain up three, and then two more doubles for the first cluster. chain three, and then into that same chain three space, three more doubles for our second cluster. So, so far, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. However, the next round, that's where things start to come into play. So after our two clusters separated by a chain three space, chain one, and then into the next chain three space, two clusters separated by a chain three space. So that's three doubles. Chain three, and then three doubles. Okay, chain one, and then into the next corner, same thing. Three doubles, chain three, three doubles. So three doubles, chain three, and three more doubles, chain one, and then into the last corner, same deal, three doubles, chain three, and three more doubles. Okay, so to finish off round two, chain one, slip stitch into the top third chain of that first double crochet. Slip stitch into the next two doubles. And then slip stitch into the chain three space. All right, and that is the end of round two. Okay, round three. All right, so the beginning is gonna be just as we have been doing. So chain up three, one, two, three, Two more double crochets for our first cluster, like so. Chain three. Three more doubles for our next cluster. All right, so now we need to make the basis of our first skull. So, sort of the foundation of the first skull. So that's gonna be a chaining of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then skipping over these two clusters and the chain one space, gonna go directly into the corner. So after chaining seven, do into that corner chain three space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles.
So I've got three doubles, chain three, three more doubles, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip all the way to the next corner with three doubles, chain three, three doubles. And one, two, three, chain seven again. After we pull out a bit more yarn, no problem. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then into that last corner, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. There we are. And then last but not least, we need to bridge the gap over here. So that is going to be seven chains once again, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then into the top third chain, slip stitch, like so slip stitch into the next two doubles and slip stitch into the chain three space all right now yes this looks really wild and crazy but it'll it'll tame itself down don't worry all right so that's the end of round three round four all right, so again, gonna start just as we have been. So chain up three and two more doubles for our first cluster. Chain three, three more doubles. There we go. All right, so now we need to create the little chinny chin chin of our skull. So going to go across by chaining three, one, two, three, and then into the chain seven space, seven double crochets. And these do not have to be perfectly spaced because they can be shifted around because we're going into the space, not into the actual chains. So do not fret. All right, so I've got four, five, six, and seven, like so. And then, of course, for the sake of symmetry, chain three again, one, two, three, and then we've reached our corner. So three doubles, chain three, three doubles. So three doubles, chain three, and three more doubles. There we are. All right, skipping over to the next Jenny chin chin, chain three, seven doubles into the chain space, so that's three, four, five, 
six, seven, chain three, and then into the corner, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. There we go. So that is what you're going to do for the rest of the round. It's just chaining three, seven doubles, chain three, three doubles, chain three, three doubles, then chain three, seven doubles, chain three, and slip stitch to the top third chain. Okay. All right. So I'll meet back up with you when we're ready for round five. All right, round five. All right, so your square should look something like this by now. So you've got four little chinny chin chins, and I already slip stitched to my first, and then slip stitch into the next two doubles and into the chain three space. And the reason why I skipped ahead is because, well, I'm, I'm trying to make this, you know, the length of this tutorial doable. So I'm uh, going to chain up three, and two more doubles for our first cluster. And I'm trying to give you as much information as I can, but also trying to make the length of the video more doable so that we can continue on. So I did my three doubles, my chain three, need three more doubles. So I hope you don't mind that I'm not doing the entire round for each each round, but doing the best that I can do. All right, so now keep in mind the number of chains that is most important. Um, so our first one was seven chains, right? And it was seven doubles, then three chains. Well, now we're gonna go up to four chains. So we're gonna keep going up in the number of chains as we progress along. So four chains, one, two, three, four, then into the first double crochet, do a single crochet. Then we need to go across the chin. We need the mouth. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then into the last double crochet do a single crochet. And then to get to the next chain three space, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then into the space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. All right, so I got my three doubles, chain three, and three more doubles. Okay, then to get to the next mouth opening, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the first double crochet. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the last double crochet, chain four again, one, two, three, four, and then into the corner, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. And that's what you're going to do for the rest of round five. There we go. 
So from here, you would chain four, single crochet into the first, chain seven, single crochet into the last, chain four, three doubles, chain three, three doubles, chain four, single crochet in the first, chain seven, single crochet in the last, chain four, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, and that will be the end of round five. I know you guys can do it. You know, if you need to, you know, rewind, pause, you know, you can do it. All right, I'll meet back up with you for round six. Round six. Alrighty, so what we're going to do from here is chain three, one, two, three, and yes, I, I did my slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, and slip stitch. So chain three, two more doubles for the first cluster, chain three, and then three more doubles for the second cluster. There we are. All right, so again, keep in mind our chain count. So, you know, this one, you know, the, the very base one, yes, it was seven, but we're going from three and then we did four. Well, now we do five, okay? So again, it goes up one each time. So one, two, three, four, five. Now into that first single crochet, do a single crochet to lock it in then into the chain seven space seven single crochets one two three four five six seven and then into the last single crochet, do a single crochet. So now we've got a little mouth. And so you should have a total of nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The count is very important and it does pay to double count your stitches, believe you me. So from here, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. Because I have made a couple of mistakes the first time I was making this blanket, and it is no fun having to backtrack. So... I would strongly suggest double count your stitches and it'll save you some grief in the long run. Believe you me. All right, so I got my three doubles, my chain three, my three doubles. Now chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then into that first connecting single crochet, do a single crochet. And then into the chain seven space, seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then single crochet into that single crochet. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, into the chain three space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. And yes, I am going to double count my stitches. <laughs> I always like to say that I err on the side of paranoia. All right, so let's do a double count. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. Okay, so do the same thing for the next two sides. So that would be a chaining of five, single crochet, seven single crochets, single crochet, chain five, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, chain five, single crochet, seven single crochets, single crochet, chain five, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. And that will be the end of row six. Well, round six. And we are already getting there. Yes, indeed. Alrighty. I'll meet back up with you. Round seven. All right. Again, start by chaining up three. One, two, three. Two more double crochets for the first cluster. Chain three. Three more double crochets for the second cluster. There we go. All right, so we had three then four, then five. Well, now we need six chains. See, I wasn't making it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now from here, going to do a single crochet into that first single crochet. And then in two more single crochets. So we've got a total of three single crochets, like so, one, two, and three. And then we're going to make a little nosy. So double crochet into the next stitch, because we need some height, chain one, skip the next stitch and going into the next one with another double crochet. So that's three single crochets, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, then the last three stitches, single crochets. Sweet, a little nosy now. You guys got a little chinny chin chin, a little mouth, a little nose. He's coming along nicely, don't you think? Okay, enough. <laughs> All right, so we need six chains again. If you're ever lost, you can always refer back to your previous chains. This was the seven, three, four, five. Well, we need six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is a trick that I used many, many times during the course of doing this you know, particular project. It really helped. So into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. You know, that aspect does not change, you know, as far as the corners are concerned. It's always three doubles, chain three, three doubles. The rest of it, not so much, but, you know, it's sort of like a little, a mini break at the end of each side, which is nice. There we go. All right. Now for our next side, again, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the first three single crochets. One, two, three, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the one after that, then three single crochets, one, two, and three, chain six, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And then into the corner, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. All right, so I'm gonna leave you for the rest of this round. So again, chain six, three single crochets, a double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, three single crochets, chain six, three doubles, chain three, three doubles, chain six, three single crochets, a double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, three single crochets, chain six, slip, 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 slip to my Lou, my darling. And that will be the end of round seven. We're getting there. Round eight, because eight is great. All right, so as per usual, chain up three, one, two, and three, two more, double crochets for the first cluster. Chain three. Three more doubles. Ooh. There we go. And then again, three, four, five, six. Well, now we need to chain seven chains. And this is going to be a row of chain sevens. My goodness, I'll show you what I mean. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now this part is a little bit tricky, but you can do it. We're going to do a half double crochet into that first single crochet. You know, it can take a little bit of finessing and a little bit of finagling, but you can do it. So through, through, and through. All right, then chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we need to make the eyes now. So into that little nosy, do a single crochet. And now we've got an eye to go with our nose and our mouth. Well, we need another eye. So chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then another half double crochet into that first single crochet, well, the last, excuse me, but, you know, the last single crochet. We're going to do a half double, so through, through, and through. So now he's starting to look like a little skull. All right, so again, for the sake of symmetry, chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. Chain three. And then three more doubles. There we go. And then we need to get over again. So chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half double. It's a half double crochet into that first single crochet. 
through, through, and through. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the nose. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half double crochet into the last single crochet. Through, through, and through. Chain seven. One, two, three. four, five, six, seven, and then into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. There we go. All right, so again, gonna continue on in the same fashion. So you're gonna chain seven, half double crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain seven, half double crochet, chain seven, three doubles, chain three, three doubles, chain seven, half double crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain seven, half double crochet, chain seven, and slip, slip, slip stitch, slip. Okay, all slip stitches. All right, and then that will be the end of round eight. Round nine. Yes, indeed. All right, so from here, again, chain up three, one, two, three, two more double crochets for the first cluster, this should be old hat for you by now. Okay, chain three and three more doubles. One, two, and three. All right, so now things are going to change a little bit because this is not going to get any longer than it is because, again, we went from, you know, that base of seven. So it was three, then four, then five, then six, then seven. Well, now we need to go back down again. So we're going to go back down to six chains. However, before we do that, we're going to chain one and into this chain space, the seven chain space, do a cluster of three double crochets. And we can shift that over a little bit. No worries. All right, so that is how our corners are gonna start to look now. All right, so now we're gonna do the chaining of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now dealing with the eyes over here, going to single crochet into the half double. Like so. And then into each eye socket, seven single crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven single crochets into the next eye socket, just skipping right on over. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and then single crochet into the half double crochet on this side. So you should have a total of 16 single crochets all the way across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right. So then from here, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, into the chain seven space, three double crochets. chain one, and then into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. Like so, alrighty. All right, so for the next side, it's gonna be the same thing. So chain six, oh, well, sorry. It's going to be a chain six, but before we chain six, we need to chain one, there we go, and do three doubles into the chain seven space. See, I was a little ahead of myself there, it happens. Okay, then chain six, mm-hmm. One, two, three four, five, six. All right, into the half double, going to do a single crochet, and then seven single crochets into the chain space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven into the next space, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, single crochet into the half double. There we go. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, into the chain space, three doubles. Chain one, and then into the corner space, three doubles, chain three, three doubles. Okay, so from here, gonna leave you again, going to chain one, three double crochets, chain six, single crochet, seven single crochets, seven single crochets, single crochet, chain six, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, chain one, Three double crochets, chain six, single crochet, seven single crochets, seven single crochets, single crochet, chain six, three double crochets, chain one, and then slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. Okay? And like always, you know, you can pause, you can rewind, you know, and there you have it. So I'm going to meet back up with you and we will go from there. All right. So that was the end of round nine and your piece should look something like this, I hope. So you should have 
two clusters and then you know your skulls two clusters and two clusters and your skulls and so on and so forth and so your piece like i said should look something like this at the moment now this is sort of a crucial crux point right now because from this point you can go in one of two different directions you can either keep going and make a one piece square blanket you know with a lot of skulls in it or from this point you could stop where you're at just have the four skulls for this one smaller square which you can then do the join as you go method now what i'm going to do is from here i'm going to show how you would finish up this particular square as a join as you go square but after I do that, I am then going to backtrack and I'm going to show how from this point after round nine, you can do the continuation with more and more skulls. So please, please be patient with me. I'm going as fast as I can, believe you me. Um, so this, this is, like I said, it's going to be a series. So this is just part one of the series, but I really hope that you're enjoying it because I really am loving it. Um, again, thank you so much to Marietta uh, on Ravelry for allowing me to utilize the basis of her pattern for this pattern. Much appreciated. Uh, also, I'm going to put links to my previous video series, which was the Lost Souls Shawl and a link to the original pattern. And also, again, thank you very much, Lion Brand, for providing me with this yarn. Much appreciated. And I'm also going to put links to my Etsy store and my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. Would love to see you there. Mm. So that's a mouthful, isn't it? So listen, everybody, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned for part two. Hopefully it'll come out soon. All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.